Hey, what's going on, guys? NSZ85. Got a little project again today that I'm going to take care of. As you can see in front of me, I have some aluminum USGI magazines for the AR15 or M16. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refinish them and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it. Uh, hopefully, you're going to go from something like this, which has obviously seen a tremendous amount of use, to something like this, which looks almost brand new. So, I'm also going to do some upgrades to the followers and the floor plates. I'm going to add Magpul Ranger floor plates and anti-tilt followers. And just to give you an example, uh, this one does not have a Magpul anti-tilt follower. And as you can see, it, uh, it just doesn't work that well. When you take a look at this one, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it doesn't tilt like this one. Okay, so first things first, obviously you're going to need some magazines to refinish. And like I said, these are USGI mags, they're just aluminum. Um, you can do your own research if you'd like as to which manufacturer makes them, things of that nature. Um, I will provide links down below if you click show more to all the products that I'll be using, uh, specifically the Ranger floor plates and the anti-tilt followers by Magpul I ended up getting from Howard at the bunker. There's his information there. I'm sure you guys have heard of him before. Extremely, extremely nice guy. I talked to him over the phone. And uh, he was the only one that had these around when I ordered them uh, back in December. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what we're going to need. Uh, first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to disassemble each magazine, take the spring out, the floor plate, and the follower. Uh, then we're going to want to clean them really good, degrease them. So I, I chose to use Simple Green and an old toothbrush and some steel wool just in a plastic container tub like this with some water. And uh, we'll go ahead and degrease these. I'll, I'll go through that whole process. But uh, when we're done with that and those are dry, then we're going to hang them up with some wire through the holes here. So you'll need some wire if you want to do it that way or maybe a wire coat hanger. And then the coating we're using here is Everlube Products. Perma Slick G. This is the mil spec coating that gives you that uh, flat gray finish. And this is a dry film lube. And basically, my understanding is a dry film lube is something that uh, provides good uh, corrosion wear and like resistance, especially with putting in and taking out the magazine. It provides kind of a lubrication, but without the oil or the ability to attract dirt and dust and things of that nature. So. I'm sure you can Google information on that. I'll have a link below as to what dry film lube is if you want to learn a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and get started with disassembling these magazines. Now specifically on the floor plates to take these off there's an indent here that makes it so it can't come off but as you can see this one's pretty well damaged which is another reason why I'm changing the floor plates out for the Magpul Rangers. But basically what you're going to want to do is slide this off. Keep your finger or hand over it because that spring is going to come flying out. Okay, you just pull it out. And don't pull on the spring. You don't want to stretch it out. Take some work and you'll get it to come out. Okay. So hang on to the springs because I'm going to, I'm going to reuse those and you can reuse them too. So there's the magazine there. That's what's going to go into the tub for cleaning. Just to show you another view of how to get that floor plate off. As you can see I'm trying to slide it forward but it's not going. You can see here there's those lips. And all you have to do is just clear it enough to be able to slide that off. So I went ahead and filled this up with some hot water and I am not using exact science at all for this. I'm just going to take the uh, simple green here and looks good enough to me. So I got the simple green in there, stir that up a little bit, take the first one and put it in. And I figure we might as well do the springs as well and to get the follower off if you look underneath here, there's a little hole that the spring goes into and you're just going to manipulate that out of that hole. 
You may have to use a pliers. So I'm just going to go over each one and I'm going to scrub it inside and out. You just want to make sure that the all the dirt and grime is out and then it's nice and degreased because you want the dry film lube to adhere to it very nice. And remember what I said too is that you can use some steel wool just to make sure you get all the extra grime off. Make sure you get in all the grooves too. When you're done scrubbing one, what I'm also doing is I have a container of nice cool water and I'm just putting them in there to rinse off any additional residue and then I'm going to put them on the paper towel here. Alright, I'm all done cleaning them and I think to make sure that they're perfectly dry inside and out I'm just going to throw them in the oven uh, just to show you here. I don't know if you remember the color of the water was clear before but it's definitely uh, pretty much gray black now. So there was definitely a ton of stuff that came off of those. And like I said, just to make sure they're completely dry, I went ahead and just wrapped them up in paper towels. And I just put it at 170 degrees and I'll just let it sit there for 30 or 40 minutes. That way I know that there's no water on the inside at all. Alright, so I got them fresh out of the oven and I'm outside in the garage now. And as you can see, I just kind of have a kind of a sawhorse stand going on. This is actually what I use for a target stand. but. I have these wire coat hangers that I put over the wood and then just kind of bent them down. And that will allow me to just take them and hang them just like that. We got all those set up. And this does say that it, it can air dry. Degrease the areas, did it, shake container gonna do it and it says 12 inches from the surface and ready for handling one to six hours after air drying. So let me go ahead and shake this up real good and get the spring. So far they're looking pretty good. As you can see it's a nice matte gray color. We'll let them sit for about an hour and then we'll come back out and take a look at them. Alright so I've given them about an hour to dry and as you can see they look really really good. Specifically this first one here if you can remember what that one looked like. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off and bring them back inside and show you how to apply the floor plates and the new followers. Alright so we're back indoors let's go ahead and get the follower onto our spring here. It's pretty easy. You take a look here there's a spot where this loop goes through and then this back end just fits right in between there. I don't know if you can see that. And then all I have to do is just simply take this and manipulate it to go into that hole as you can see there pretty simple then the way you're going to want to feed it of course so it'll look like this as you can see it fits right in the slot there Okay, here's our follower in place. Now for the Ranger floor plate, it's a little bit tricky, but not too difficult. You want to compress your spring all the way. Take this piece, and it goes on like so. Just think that this tab kind of fits right in that spot there. So we're going to push this down like so. And then this piece, which is the rest of the floor plate, will then go 
this tab goes right here. So make sure that that's pushed down good. And there's, as you can see, metal slots right here. So you just want to line those up. And then push forward and it'll click. And there we are. So I have to say that looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Everything came out quite nice. So I would say that this is successfully refinished and fully operational. I hope this video is helpful guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below, and I'll get back to you. I'm really good about doing that, so have a good day. Talk to you later. Hey! Ammo! Seats! Good boy. How was your day today? <laughs> it was that good? It was that good? Oh, that's awesome, buddy. I'm glad you're having such a good day. Oh.